All right, so the last video I made was talking about the food categories that caused me to break out. And so this video is gonna be about the foods that I've learned to eat that really helped me to reduce breakouts, reduce flare-ups, and reduce oily skin. Okay, so basically the main objective when you're having to eat for acne-prone skin is to reduce the amount of high inflammatory foods while also eating as many low inflammatory foods as you can that are also rich in vitamins, antioxidants, and nutrients. And so that's basically my whole goal whenever I'm going to the grocery store to pick food or whenever I'm cooking here for myself or even if I go out to eat somewhere, I try to eat things that are the most low inflammatory as possible. So for example, for breakfast, instead of eating a bowl of cereal or a Pop-Tart or waffles or pancakes or something like that, you're gonna wanna eat something whole and not processed like for example I will eat um, four to five eggs with bacon and potatoes and potatoes are probably the most high glycemic food in my diet but they're natural I mean starch or vegetable they're not processed high glycemic so it doesn't really cause me any issues but other than that eggs and the bacon are very low glycemic and I get um, pastured eggs from Whole Foods that have the highest omega-3 to omega-6 ratio because of the way the chickens are fed and then I also get uncured like no sugar or sodium added bacon I know bacon's not necessarily the healthiest food for you but it also doesn't cause me to break out but you also don't have to eat eggs and bacon and potatoes for breakfast that's just an example that works for me you could eat um, a bowl of fruit you could have carne levada you could have anything like that I find that the obviously the tortilla in a breakfast burrito causes me to break out because it's very high glycemic and processed but basically, as long as you're avoiding the high inflammatory processed foods for breakfast or any meal of the day, you're going to be okay. So it doesn't matter if you're eating um, like a fruit bowl or eggs and bacon or some carne levada with tomato and lettuce. It doesn't really matter as long as you're avoiding the cereal, Pop-Tarts, waffles, pancakes, things like that. Also, when cooking eggs and potatoes, you want to make sure we're avoiding the high inflammatory cooking oils. So the hydrogenated oils like canola oil, vegetable oil, corn oil, soybean oil, things like that and cook either in coconut oil or olive oil or even avocado oil. Those are gonna be the lowest inflammatory cooking oils with the highest omega-3 to omega-6 ratio. So for snacks in the day, I normally try to just eat fruit or salad. So I'll either have like a nectarine, a banana, a pear, an apple, or if I'm not eating fruit for a snack, I'll have a little salad with, salad with some like lettuce, spinach, tomato, bell pepper. I either, I normally switch it up either between salad or fruit for my snack in the day. But again, like the same objective throughout the story when eating for sensitive skin is you don't want to be snacking on high glycemic foods. Like you don't want to be eating crackers, granola bars, processed things like that. You don't want to be snacking on sweets or let's see, what else could you be snacking on? Um, just things that come in a, a wrapper or a box. You want to eat something whole and natural. It'll really help minimize breakouts. For lunch, I typically eat the same thing every day, which is just some grilled salmon and some brown rice. Brown rice is lower glycemic than white rice, and the salmon is super good for healthy fats, protein, and just making you feel satisfied to get through the day. The salmon is very good for you. I try to get wild caught if I can because the omega-3 to omega-6 ratios are going to be better and uh, less inflammatory. And then for dinner, I'll basically eat like a chicken vegetable stir fry with a little bit of rice. So I'll use some olive oil again to cook up some chicken and some vegetables. I normally put broccoli, mushrooms, um, cucumber, uh, bell pepper and that makes a really low inflammatory, very healthy meal. And so the cool thing about eating low inflammatory for skin, for skin problems, is that it's also very good for you just in general for your overall health. So there's sometimes a lot of confusion regarding fruits because fruits technically are more high glycemic because they have a lot of natural sugars, but the key word there is natural. So I mean the sugars aren't processed sugars and they're, they're high glycemic because they're natural sugars but they also have a lot of antioxidants. Uh, fruits are packed with tons of vitamins and so you need those vitamins to promote healthy skin and so I normally eat fruit every single day and it doesn't cause me any issues with breakouts sometimes I'll have a fruit salad with pineapple strawberry um, blueberry and I'll just snack on other fruits throughout the day um, I think as long as the if you have high glycemic foods that are natural it's not going to cause you nearly as much of an issue as high glycemic foods that are processed so a banana versus a granola bar a granola bar is going to cause you way more um, flare-ups and breakouts than a banana. So I wouldn't worry too much about the high glycemic foods that are natural. I don't want to eat low glycemic foods that support gut health and the microbiome. And so I kind of talked about this in the antibiotic video about acne. You want as many good bacteria in your stomach as possible. And that comes from eating a very diverse diet of fruits and vegetables and even meat, meats and fish. So I even tried going vegetarian and vegan for a while to see if it would make any differences for my skin. 
it really didn't and I noticed that um, I can eat meat as long as it's like very good sourced meat and not cause any um, breakouts I can eat steak chicken fish pork chops things like that and not break out so as far as the diversity though of your microbiome uh, your gut you're gonna want to eat plenty of vegetables plenty of fruit and not just the same fruits and vegetables all the time you want to mix it up so you can get that whole diverse basically culture of ba good bacteria in your in your gut so basically once you watch the last video and you know all the foods that you're not supposed to eat for acne prone skin it makes this video a lot more simple because then you can basically just eat anything that doesn't involve those things so anything that's whole unprocessed and low glycemic and low inflammatory foods you're pretty much good to go as long as they're not processed and high glycemic you're basically gonna be okay when it comes to eggs and meat you wanna eat grass-fed pastured meat it's gonna be the most uninflammatory um, food source for you because they're eating their natural diet which is uninflammatory if you're eating um, animals that are being fed an unnatural diet then they're gonna be their diet is very high inflammatory, GMO, GMO corn, stuff that they don't normally eat, stuff that's not part of their normal diet, and that's going to transfer to you when you eat that animal. So if you eat wild caught salmon, pastured eggs, pastured grass fed beef, then you'll be okay and it won't be as inflammatory and it's not going to cause you breakouts. So you want to eat unrefined, low glycemic, low sugar, low inflammatory foods, and a ton of fruits and vegetables along with good uh, pastured grass-fed meat and basically that's the way you should eat to avoid getting flare-ups, oily skin and breakouts. So if you have sensitive skin, these are kind of the guidelines you want to follow. It's kind of, you can kind of mix and match between these boundaries, between these parameters. As long as you're eating foods that fall into these categories, you'll be good to go. Uh, pastured eggs, pastured meat, fruits, vegetables, wild-caught salmon, um, healthy fats, things like that and you'll be good to go. The main thing is to avoid the foods in the last video that will cause flare-ups because if you don't avoid those, then eating these foods might not be able to help you because those foods are still causing you breakouts. So that's basically, that basically sums up this video of what to eat. I give a few examples of what I eat for breakfast, um, lunch, dinner, and some snacks. It becomes basically common sense once you know what foods to avoid. So I hope this video was helpful. If there's something you didn't think I covered, um, go ahead and put it in the comments below and I'll make sure I answer that for you.